In this video, I will discuss using CSV files to split up large PDFs into individual songs or pieces. To begin, I will first cover the format and structure that Mobile Sheets expects for CSV files. The first line of the CSV file must contain a list of the song fields to be populated. A few fields are always required, such as title and pages. The title field lists the song title to use in Mobile Sheets, while the pages field lists the sequence of pages to use from the PDF. The order of the fields on the first line must match the order of the values on the lines following it. For example, a simple file could appear as follows. If a file with those lines is imported, two songs will be created from it, one titled Song A and the other titled Song B. Each song would be two pages long, but would use a different range of pages from the underlying PDF. It's important to note that the character used to split up the fields, called the delimiter, can be any character you want. Mobile Sheets will use the character separating the fields on the first line to determine what to look for. For example, a comma could be used instead of a semicolon. Using a comma is generally not a good idea, though, as many song titles may contain a comma, and this would interfere with the processing of the CSV file in Mobile Sheets. In addition to the title and pages, many other fields in Mobile Sheets can be populated when importing a CSV by adding them on the first line. The list of supported fields includes artists, albums, genres, composers, and many more. Return to this point of the video or refer to the manual if you need to see this list of supported fields again. Most of these fields support multiple values. To specify multiple values for a field in the CSV file, separate both values by a pipe symbol as follows. Value 1 Pipe Value 2 Let's take a look at a simple example then to see how this could be used. In this example, the first song would have multiple artists added to it, named Artist A and Artist B. You can specify any number of values, as long as each value is separated by a pipe symbol. The last thing that should be mentioned is that not every song may contain values for every field that is populated. In this case, just leave that field blank. See the following example. In this example, Song A has no artists listed at all, as signified by the two semicolons side by side. It then lists an album after those semicolons. The second song, on the other hand, lists one artist but no album. We can see that a semicolon is listed after Artist C, but not after Album A. That is because Album A is the value for the last column on that line, whereas a separator is needed after Artist C to indicate that no album is present after it. Now that we have covered the expected file format for CSV files, I will discuss and demonstrate importing a CSV file into Mobile Sheets. A CSV import can be started by first tapping the Import action and then selecting CSV or PDF bookmarks. You will then be prompted to select a CSV file. It is important to select a CSV file and not a PDF on this first step. If a PDF is selected, it will be split up using PDF bookmarks instead of utilizing a CSV file. If a CSV file is selected, Mobile Sheets will search for a PDF in the same directory as the CSV file that shares the same name as the CSV file. For example, if test.csv was imported, then Mobile Sheets would look for test.pdf. If a test.pdf is not found, then Mobile Sheets will open the CSV file to determine if a PDF name is listed on the first line. 
If so, this is the PDF that will be matched up to the CSV. If no PDF is listed, then Mobile Sheets will prompt the user to select the PDF to use with the CSV file. It should be noted that if you select both a CSV and a PDF at the same time in the file browser, Mobile Sheets will automatically use those two files together. For this example, I will select a file named sample.csv that will be used with sample.pdf. After selecting the CSV file, Mobile Sheets will read the contents of that file and display a dialog listing every song found in the CSV file, along with the metadata associated with those songs. For each entry that is selected, Mobile Sheets will create a new song in the library linked to the PDF with the metadata specified in the CSV. To filter the list to locate a specific song, enter a search term at the top of the dialog. If I search for Sample 2, we can see that only the second song is listed. At the bottom of the dialog, there are four checkboxes. The first checkbox determines if page numbers will be shown on the Import dialog. Hiding the page numbers will allow more songs to be listed on the dialog at once, which can be helpful with larger CSV files. The Show Details checkbox, when checked, will display all of the metadata that was found in the CSV for each entry. Unchecking this can significantly reduce the height of each entry if many metadata fields are listed in the CSV file. The Automatically Crop Pages checkbox determines if each song that is created will be cropped during the import. Lastly, the Edit Songs After Import checkbox determines if either the Song Editor or the Batch Edit dialog will be displayed to edit the one or more selected songs after the creation succeeds. I will now select three of the songs listed on the dialog, Sample 2, Sample 4, and Sample 6, and then tap OK. After the processing completes, three new songs will appear on the Songs tab. If I load the song named Sample 4, we can see that it loaded the pages from sample.pdf that were specified in the CSV file, which were pages 6 through 9. I have numbered all of the pages in the PDF to make this easier to demonstrate. It is important to note that the CSV feature can only be used to create new songs at the moment. It is not possible to update existing songs in the library by re-importing the same CSV file. You would need to delete the existing songs before re-importing the CSV file to recreate those songs. Similarly, the CSV import feature cannot be used to import multiple PDFs at once, and you also cannot import multiple CSV files at once. Features will be added in the future to address these limitations. As demonstrated in this video, CSV files can be used to break up large PDFs into smaller individual songs in your library. This is extremely efficient as each song will still utilize the same PDF, just with a different page order. While some initial work is required to build the CSV file, the end result is worthwhile as you can more quickly populate all of the metadata for the songs that are created. Users have also shared their CSV files on the Zubersoft forums at the following URL, which is an extremely useful resource to find existing files and examples from other users. Thank you for watching. To find more tutorial videos, click the links below or visit www.zubersoft.com. There are videos covering both basic features in Mobile Sheets as well as more advanced topics like MIDI.